Hey guys, and welcome to a PSP game review for the very fun, very destructive game, Flat Out Head On. Flat Out Head On is, essentially, a racing game with amazing background music. But let's be honest, it's so much more fun than your average racing game. With crashing into other cars for nitro and lighting up fiery explosions, this game is mayhem. The game features three different racing modes. Capturing arcade destruction racing at its best, Flat Out offers carnage racing, demolition derbies, and violent stunts. But don't think it's all just sugar and spice. A certain level of je ne sais quoi is necessary to conquer the mini tracks the game has to offer, and to go head-to-head -head with the Wi-Fi racing option, which, unfortunately, only supports local play. A nice feature of the game is being able to customize your cars and buy and store new ones in a virtual garage. The customization ranges from engine to suspension to wheels and paint job, and the cars are purchased from different categories such as derby and street. But unlike popular Forza franchise and games like it, you don't start out with a nice Ferrari or a pretty little Mercedes. Nope. You get... this hunk of junk. A straight up hoopty. As far as the main racing mode of the game, in Flat Out Head On, the objective to place first is second priority. First is smashing into other cars and beating your own up a little bit. Let's be honest, it gives it character. Smashing into other cars rewards you with titles like Super Hit, Slam, and Wipeout. This raises your money for the race, which determines the trophy you receive, as well as raises your nitro bar. Smashing into other players for a bit of fuel boost? I don't know who wouldn't take it. Watch out though, get too much damage and you'll wipe out. Carnage racing and flat out head-on definitely keeps you on your toes with secret passages and extra turns and ramps you may not notice at first lap. Here's a look at one of the many different stunts that can be played in Flat Out Head On, this specific one holding the goal to fling your driver as far and high out of the windshield as possible. And for a look at the Demolition Derby mode, we all know how this works, right? Smash into other cars while maintaining your own sounds simple enough? Decide for yourself. So let's break it down. The graphics are demonstrated well through the physics of the game, but the frame rate could be better. Parts of the game have detailed roads with tire marks and beautiful trees, while others have big blotching and blurred signs that add sort of an ugliness to the game. As far as lasting play, the mini trophies to aim for, the Wi-Fi multiplayer, the customization option, and the stunt events are enough to keep you busy for a while, and something always quick and fun to pick up. I would totally recommend this game to a casual racing fan or even those who aren't particularly fond of racing games. This might be the one for you. Find it on the PlayStation Network.